Okay, so the subject here is a 1995 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Uh, I bought it for about $1,200 off of Facebook Marketplace. Engine and transmission don't seem to be in great shape, but we're not going to worry about that because the goal for this car is to take both of those out and replace them with a Tesla rear drive unit. I'm going to be putting a large rear drive unit from HSR Motors in the back, and then the front will be filled chock full of lithium batteries. So it does have both front and rear seats. Uh, I'm not worried about keeping the rear seats, but if I can, I might as well. It's got a five-speed manual. Not great, but it does work. Uh, the AC does work, which is nice since we're in Florida. Parking brake, not so good. Alignment is way out. Power windows and everything work. So we have here the V6 with the dual overhead cams. Um, it squeaks a little bit uh, and has some problem with its low end torque, but not really worried about whether or not this actually works because we're going to pull it out. The plan is to basically completely fit the new Tesla drive motor before actually removing this though. Um, just so we don't do a bunch of extra work in case adding the new electric motor doesn't work out for whatever reason. Um, probably be keeping the stock set of radiators and such. Um, the brakes work fine, so we'll probably be keeping those. Um, yeah, probably new headlights, definitely new paint once it's done. So hopefully I'll be able to keep most of this space. But we're probably going to have to cut out a whole bunch of this in order to actually build the structure we need to get that motor mounted. It did come with a bunch of extra stuff in the back here, like all these lug nuts and a jack, but no spare tire. An extra plug wire. <laughs> extra mirror too. Previously it seems this car was wired for an extra amplifier, but I don't believe that's installed anymore. Instead there's a new radio unit up in the front, um, but the previous owner didn't know how to wire it, so they did so wrong, and you have to actually remove the radio just a little bit to get it to shut off, because um, it's not properly wired into the ignition circuit. No antenna either. And plenty of paint damage. Um, it's not my favorite color, so I'll probably... So I'm not really concerned with this one, but it will be some work to get that redone, obviously. Um, the headlights... this this These are broken, actually. Uh, these work. They're not the greatest, so... If they... If I can get something better for a replacement, that'll be cool as well. But that's way, way in the future. Um, so I guess I'll fire it up. Battery's not great. Little squeak. It's unhappy. There we go. I'm going to grab someone who can hold the camera and then we'll take it back to the shop because uh, today the plan is to at least try to get it up on some blocks and stuff so we can start taking it apart. All right, let's take it back to the shop. What an exquisite noise.
resting place for the next few months, probably. Maybe until the end of the year. there we have it. So now we're gonna go get some scales to weigh it and get it up on block so we can start pulling the rear end out and that'll be that. We don't actually have any parts yet because I've only ordered the motor but. All right here we are we're trying to weigh the car for comparison between the fore and after. Uh, all we have is this 500 pound tension scale uh, so we've set the car up on a lever underneath which should divide the weight by roughly two and then we've attached the scale to one of the rafters in the shop here it's definitely not sketchy at all it's there you can't really see that but the back we're reading about 285 so it's twice that Gives us uh, 560, 570? Yeah, 570 on this back wheel. So then two for the total, times two for the total back weight again. Um, so then next up is measuring the front. We're just gonna roll the car back and use the same setup again. Um, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so we've got the front up for weighing. Uh, as you can see, the scale ex is extended just a little more. We're at about 475 pounds on the end of our balance beam on the side of the front. So considering the, the advantage of that lever, plus the fact that we're only weighing one side, um, when you multiply everything out, the car comes out to just over 3,000 pounds total. So, and that's actually pretty damn close to the uh, online measurements. So, of three thousand three hundred and fifty-one. So I think I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, as expected, almost all that weight is in the front, two thirds of it. Um. So that'll probably change quite a bit when we put the. 300 some pound motor and however much the subframe weighs in the rear and load it with all those hundreds of pounds of batteries in the front. Um, we're not too worried about that, but at least we can compare. All right. All right, deconstruction has begun. First we gotta get all the crap out of the back. Yeah, get some extra plug wires. Oh boy, we'll need those. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can we use those for the high tension leads. Yeah, only. All right. Rear, every, everything everything behind that. everything, including the rear seats, coming out. Yep. All right. Here it is without most of the rear trim panels. Um, interestingly, the antenna is a one of those like power extend ones. The actual antenna itself not there, of course. There's some of the wiring for the uh, aftermarket stereo amplifier which is nowhere to be seen. Um, not a whole lot else. Someone had disconnected the uh, reverse lights, but I plugged those back in even though they're not gonna get used for a while. Uh, so yeah, next up is removing the rear seats. Rear seats are out. Uh, those came out pretty easy. There's a couple of like knobs you pull in the front under the rear seats and then you just lift up and the seat comes out and then the seat back is held in with just a few 12 millimeter bolts uh one on one on each side of the seat back and then one in the middle of the two um and that's i'll get those out sometime those panels there out sometime uh apparently that's where like the abs and stuff hides out 